We start with that breaking news. Students in Union County Public Schools will not be required to wear a mask this coming school year. Tonight, the Union County School Board voted unanimously to make masks optional for students, even those who could not be vaccinated. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs was at that meeting where there were passionate opinions on both sides. Union County School Board leaders took a stand showing Governor Roy Cooper they're not waiting around for his opinion. Masks will not be required here in this county for this coming school year after a 9 to 0 vote. All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. With that vote, students in Union County Public Schools can decide for themselves if they want to wear a mask in class. We have to make masks optional. Dozens of parents out in force demanding no mandates, saying it's our children, our choice. Kinders and first graders need to see their teachers' mouths move for the simple reasons. They need to see their teachers' facial expressions and their smiles. Inside, they made their pleas, but so did teachers and parents who fear COVID-19 could spread without masks being mandated. Putting unvaccinated people together in crowded spaces and doors puts students and staff at risk. A vote to make masking optional is a vote against our medically fragile children. The CDC is recommending that students under age 12 who cannot be vaccinated yet should still wear masks, but students who are vaccinated no longer need to. Union County leaders pushing that guidance aside, giving facial freedom to students if they want it. Under the current executive order, masks are still required in public schools across North Carolina, no matter if you're vaccinated or not. But that executive order will expire at the end of this month. Governor Roy Cooper told our team earlier today that a decision will be coming soon regarding masks in school. But this county isn't waiting around for it. In Monroe, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte. Hunter, thank you. Also tonight, Union County School Board members approving a big pay raise for some district staff. More than $70,000 in taxpayer money will go to boosting salaries for the school district's top brass. The superintendent will receive an extra $20,000 and his contract now runs to 2025. His seven cabinet members will also get a raise, $7,500 each. This is the first time any of them have received a pay raise since coming aboard in 2016.